Hi, this is Bob from U.S. Air Filtration, and today we're going to talk about on-demand cleaning. On-demand cleaning is the ability to have your dust collector run the cleaning cycle only when your filters need cleaning. To help us understand this better, let's start by looking at a basic timer board. This timer board does not allow for us to use on-demand cleaning, but understanding some of its basic features will help. So the first thing we notice is that there's a terminal block at the bottom of this, this timer board, which is where we would bring power into the timer board, and then there's a place for us to connect all the wires from the individual solenoid valves going out to the dust collector. At the top of this timer board are two dials, the on and off time. This allows us to set the duration of the pulse and the time between pulses. There's also a jumper to be able to control how many valves we want to cycle through the cleaning cycle. This board will allow us to use up to 10. If we only had six valves, for instance, we could set the jumper at six and it would just go through stations one through six and then repeat itself. This type of timer board, you set it and you basically then walk away and leave it alone and it just runs continuously all the time. Um, we believe that there's a better way to help save energy costs and to reduce wear and tear on your filters and on all the cleaning components. Uh, On-demand cleaning will do that. I have here a control panel that has a uh, different kind of timer board in it that will allow us to do this on-demand cleaning. This timer board has photohelic capabilities. Now that's a big word for a device that basically will uh, turn on and off the timer board based on the differential pre pressure readings it's getting from the dust collector. What makes this particular board work is this little black box called a pressure module. And you'll see it's got air tubing here. This air tubing would then run from the collector or from this control panel to the collector and attach to the ports on the collector on the clean and dirty side of the collector, which would then give us a differential pressure reading which would show up here on this digital display. The other functions that are available on our basic timer board are still available here. They're just done by buttons and they're displayed digitally. Down at the bottom, we still have our same terminal block where we attach the wires. But the way this works is that this allows us to set an upper and lower differential pressure limit that will control the cleaning. So for example, let's say that when I put in a brand new set of filters, my differential pressure reading was at two. And I wanted these filters to start cleaning when the differential pressure was at four. So I'd set my low limit at two, my high limit at four, and what would happen is I start introducing dust from the, into the dust collector, the differential pressure would gradually rise from two up to four. Once it hits four, the control panel then kicks on and starts sending signals to the valves and they start pulsing or the cleaning cycle begins. And it will continue to run based on the settings on the timer board until it gets down to that low limit, in our case two. At that point, it will shut off and stay off until the differential pressure gets back up to the high limit of four, which we said, and then it'll start that process all over again. This way, the pulsing only happens when we need to, when we need it to happen. We save energy, we save compressed air, we save wear and tear on our filters, on our solenoid and diaphragm valves, and it's just a much more effective way to do cleaning. You'll notice this control panel has a three-way switch, which gives us the option to either have it off or to turn it on continuous, which would be like our old style control panel, or to be able to select the on-demand feature and pulse only when we need it to clean. To learn more about on-demand cleaning, call and talk to one of our experts today.